unfortunately, I've got an ear infection and it's uh, with my sinuses and we've got something called red tide here. So I'm not going to make this video very long. I'm feeling crappy. And um, uh, all right, so let's just get to it. Uh, we've got a move here on Bitcoin that's just uh, has no volume and it's just basically meandering and slowly pushing down into the end of the month. Um, which I kind of expected it would do and this area right here I hope it can break through and we can get these numbers below. I would like to see some panic under this yellow zone and um, uh, So right here if we can break through this area and get the move I've got my buy orders at 27.5 um, 25.5 and 23.5 as you know Nothing has changed, and I'm just looking to see what kind of participation we have. The volume is so anemic. I need to see that expand and there to be some real panic. If we go under the 20, uh, I mean, the 30K mark, um, uh, that could cause, you know, that will show us what's going on. Um, but it's kind of a simple, uh, how, how would you say, um, it, it's a simple fundamental shift right here and this is something we couldn't really account for because we can't predict the future right um, but the Chinese have done this banning of their miners and so forth and the miners are scrambling to sell equipment or to move overseas so it's being transposed and um, it's going abroad and I think in the future you'll see numbers from some of these mining um, sites uh, we'll start to reflect that but um, these uh, companies have been and there's a whole bunch of economic issues with China uh, the US is stepping up their efforts to um, with uh, the Uyghurs and uh, the cotton production that they, they have when it's going to affect a lot of companies uh, they're stepping up legislation and sanctions against them and I think that's a good thing because the human rights abuses that they've had are horrible and uh, they're acting like a crazy totalitarian fascist society um, like the Nazis and so forth uh, against their own people and that's kind of sad um, and they have also I, I think the West has become really tired of the lies and the uh, like for example all these Chinese companies um, <laughs> they're 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 not showing the accounting of their books because they're all not valued or worth what they state them to be worth and it's thought to be under one-tenth and maybe lower one-twentieth of the real value of these companies so they've been projected off a of hype so now they're looking to delist them in the United States this is a big deal this is economically going to hurt China because China wants capital but uh, they don't want to tell the truth or be honest and um, you know, you, you can't you, you can't have your cake and eat it too, and, and China's uh, suffering from this, and uh, they're going to get hurt pretty badly. A lot of companies are moving out their supply chains away from them. They see the Chinese Communist Party as uh, a failure, uh, basically, and uh, you know, so that economic prosperity that they've had, um, they're uh, no longer going to be in the game. And uh, they're being taken out slowly and you're gonna start to see a shift and uh, it's gonna be kind of ugly uh, but um, we'll see but that's what's going on right now and that's why it's coincided with the summer doldrums uh, but at the same time there's a lot of US companies now investing into Bitcoin and they're accumulating this is just they'll take what the the Asia sells and the, the West will buy it and that's what's happening and you're starting to see mining um, go to uh, the starting to switch over to the Western countries uh, so it's going to be a really interesting time but it's also tumultuous and we're going through the the, the negative of this and but that's you know just like uh, you get sick like me right now you know you have sometimes you know you gotta build yourself back up and rest and uh, same thing as what the market's doing. The market's going down and resting, and it's being reaccumulated. And uh, but the, there's going to be a fundamental change. The type of holders that are buying now, 
are not going to be the ones that will be trading this. They're going to be buy and hold, and I've been telling you this for a while. So your liquidity is going to go out the window in the future because they're just going to buy the coins and hold them and lock them up. They're not going to be trading them. Or, so liquidity, it's going to be interesting to see how this um, happens, but that's what the, these institutions are moving into. And there's a bunch of legislation and laws that are going to uh, help these companies. They're just basically growing organically on their own, but uh, uh, they see the value proposition. These billionaires are not stupid, and uh, you're going to see more and more buying, and the lower prices are like very welcome. Now, China can just completely purge everybody. There, um, We can get some really great prices, and I can get my fills down here. Um, thank you, China. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm going to keep, like I said, I'm going to keep this short. Um, still feel it really crappy. Um, and uh, I will update you later in the week when something happens. But that's my plan. These are my buy orders. They stretch all the way down to 23500 from 27500 So let's see if we can get those fills and we can break this area. Uh, other than that, have a great week, and I'll talk to you later.